Hi everyone, we'll continue memorizing from the book of Hebrews. So today we are going to memorize Hebrews chapter 5 verse 10. I'll read that first. Uh, Hebrews chapter 5 verse 10. Being designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Being designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. So I'll read 8, 9 and 10 together. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Being designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. So we already meditated who is Melchizedek. Melchizedek is the king of Salem. He is the priest of uh, God most high. And we also meditated that Jesus is a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. It's given in Psalm 2. He doesn't follow the Levitical order of priesthood. The Levitical order is what Aaron's and other priests were following. But Jesus is the new high priest. He follows the uh, order of the uh, priestly order of Melchizedek. So here we have read. So Christ also one more thing is God the Father has appointed him as the high priest and he remained faithful to that call. One of the duties of the high priest is to offer sacrifice and to become a mediator between men and God. So Jesus offered himself as the sacrificial lamb through his death and resurrection. He obtained salvation for mankind and he became the mediator between men and God. God. So he is a high priest. He is a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. God the Father has appointed him. He did not exalt himself as the high priest but God the Father has appointed him. But Jesus remained faithful to that call. Jesus remained obedient to that call. He, he he remained obedient to his father's will. He died as he suffered intense pain and agony and he suffered in Gethsemane. Through his suffering and death, he obtained salvation and became the high priest. If you look at Bible, right, it is full of symbols, right? In the Old Testament, right from Genesis to Malachi, if we meditate carefully, all the prophecies point to a Christ. We can see prefigures of Christ in Old Testament. So we can see reference of Christ in Genesis. Reference of Mother Mary is there in Genesis. Again, we say that uh, Jesus is a type of Moses. Moses led the Israelite people from the land of slavery to the promised land. Likewise, Jesus, the new Moses, is leading men from sas slavery of sin to his father's, father's home. That is from slavery of sin to the promised land. So that is why we call Jesus as the new Moses. So same way, Jesus is a priest according to the order of Melchizedek. So Melchizedek priesthood prefigures the priesthood of Christ hmm? because other priests, they were offering uh, offering sa animal sacrifices. So they were following the Levitical order of priesthood. But God the Father has instituted a new priesthood and uh, Jesus follows that priesthood and Melchizedek the priesthood prefigures the priesthood of Christ. And also we see that Melchizedek is mentioned in the Eucharistic prayer, right? He offered wine and bread when he uh, welcomed Abraham after he came back, uh, He came uh, when he came back after defeating the enemies. So I'll read that Eucharistic prayer, the Roman canon. Be, be, be pleased to look upon these offerings, the host and chalice, with serene and kindly kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. So Jesus follows the high priesthood of Melchizedek. So I'll conclude today's meditation by with that. I'll read Hebrews chapter 5 verse 10 again. Being designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Thank you. God bless you all.